Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Have you ever gone on a hike or taken a walk through a forest? Maybe you've done some research on the incredible rainforests and the diverse life that exists there. Forests make up close to 30% of Earth's land. From the deciduous forests of North America to the rainforests of the Amazon, these ecosystems play a critical role in life on our mighty Earth. The Earth's forests are home to millions of organisms. But sadly, deforestation is threatening these delicate ecosystems. Let's learn more about what deforestation is and how it can impact our entire planet. Deforestation is when large groups of trees, sometimes even entire forests, are destroyed. The trees are cut down so that the wood can be burned or used for buildings, paper, or furniture. Often the land left behind is not replanted with new trees, but instead it's used for agricultural reasons, like to grow crops or for farm animals to graze on. Deforestation also takes place in order to make room for new buildings and neighborhoods. Forests have been cut down for thousands of years, but recently the rate of deforestation has dramatically increased. Experts estimate that over the course of 10 years, about 500,000 square miles of land is deforested. 500,000 square miles is equivalent to more than the size of the country of Egypt or the country of Spain. Now that is a lot of land. And deforestation has a huge impact on our world. Forests are home to many different plants and animals. So when trees are destroyed, many of the plants and animals that depend on those trees are also killed. And the organisms who survive lose their habitat. And this leads to some species becoming extinct, otherwise called a loss in biodiversity. And the deforestation process doesn't just affect animals. It affects humans, too. Nearly 2 million people make their homes in the forests of the Earth. Deforestation has negatively impacted those groups and has an impact on the atmosphere as well. Trees play an important role in filtering our air. Trees need to absorb carbon dioxide from the air in order to use it for the photosynthesis process, and they release oxygen back into the atmosphere. When we cut down such large amounts of the Earth's forests, it increases the amount of carbon dioxide that remains in the atmosphere. This has negative effects on our environment, such as contributing to climate change by trapping heat in our atmosphere. So as you can see, deforestation has a lot of negative effects on our planet. Well, thankfully, we've realized how detrimental and harmful it is, and so we're taking steps to reverse the damage that's been done. We're working to slow down and reverse the effects of deforestation. One effective way to combat the drastic effects is to eliminate the practice of clear-cutting. Clear-cutting is when every single tree and plant is removed from an area. Now, as you can imagine, this is incredibly detrimental to the organisms there. And another practice that can have a positive impact is to replant some of the trees that are being cut down. By doing this, we can work to replace some of the habitats that have been cut down and provide new homes for the animals that live there. We can also make better choices about the things that we purchase. Many large companies have committed to zero deforestation policies, which means that they get their supplies in a way that protects our Earth's forests. With just a little bit of research, we can find out if the companies we purchase things from are committed to reducing deforestation. And there are some other small things that we can do. For example, reducing the amount of meat that we eat can help to combat deforestation. Since deforestation occurs to make room for grazing land for cattle farms, if there's a reduction or less demand for this type of food, well, there will also be a reduction in the need for grazing land. It, reducing the paper we use is also important when it comes to saving trees. And here I mean not only the sheets we use for drawing, but also printing paper, notebooks, napkins, toilet paper, and so on. A simple decision is to always make sure we're buying recycled paper. Many lawmakers have introduced and even passed laws that protect the critical forests and species that live there and place limits on the land that can be used for new farms and construction. Now we can continue to contact our local lawmakers and express concern for this issue 
in order to continue to encourage the passage of such legislation that'll help to protect our planet. And there's also one other way to help. Educate others. We can tell them what we know about deforestation and share this video with them. The more people that are well informed about this issue, the higher chance we have of stopping further harm to our forests and the organisms that rely on the trees that live there. Although a lot of damage has been done to our forests, humans are working hard to reverse it by planting new trees, making informed decisions about our diet and the products that we purchase, and passing environmental protection laws, we can make a difference. If everyone does their part, we can protect these mighty ecosystems. How will you work to combat deforestation?